so this really is about coming back to what's happening and um, so there's such a, the, the the image of the of Jesus on the cross is such a beautiful image let's see if I can find two straight things to cross here so if you imagine it like that and then Jesus bodies on the cross and basically this from what I understand this line here is meant to represent the horizontal which is the life going in time so that's like the movement not really going in time but it's like the movement of things so the horizontal is like the movement life happening this seems to be happening there seems to be a life going on you could say maybe the relative world and then here is the vertical which you could call the godly which you could call is the no thingness is the stillness which is which knows everything and they meet in the middle so they meet perfectly in the middle and if you see Jesus on the cross his hands go there his head goes up here and this is where his heart falls forward this point and so lately I've been harping on about acting from your heart and you think that I most probably mean what they mean in spirituality where it's acting from your personal heart but I actually mean the heart of life and I think that Ramana talked about this as well but I wouldn't even dare to quote him because I never really read any of his books but you know I have Facebook so I see quotes but um, uh, I think Ramana spoke about life coming from the heart and he actually I think said I did actually read a few of his books I'm sorry I put myself down sometimes I did I remember now um, and he used to say that it, it came like the whole of life sprung in from the left side of the heart and I can understand in a way why he'd say that but all of that's not so important what's important is the seeing this boundlessness not you seeing it but coming forward so that everything is appearing in the stillness everything is made of the stillness this whole life is a life of that stillness watching itself appear in movement through these bodies and it springs into life out of love As it springs into life, you could call that amnes, that sense of being. The first thing that comes in is the sense of being alive. And that's total and utter love. Love, not for any reason, not for something, not because somebody did something or because you got something, but love for absolutely no reason, just the love of being, the simple love of what's happening. That's the nature of all things. As soon as that stillness manifests, it manifests as love. The human doesn't feel like that because what happens in the human is because of the intelligent thinking, it separates and believes that it's something moving in time and this creates suffering in humans. That They believe they're a dualistic story that is moving through a separate world, which isn't true at all. And this is such a beautiful exploration and it's not something that I can wrap up perfectly into a sentence and say this is what non-duality is here. What happens is it begins to be heard more and more but not by you. The clouds of you begin to clear and that perfect brilliant stillness shines forward. Another way you could say it is you could see it like light. This is a way that I said it on Facebook the other day is you can imagine this paper bag you imagine having a paper bag let me do this for you one sec I thought you were coming for non-duality but you're actually coming for creative arts so I'm just going to cut this bag a little bit smaller because it's a bit big nice little circles you could have those as eyes as well um, so I'm just gonna cut some more so you can try this at home 
Just get yourself some paper. Okay. So I've cut lots of holes in the bag. So imagine that these holes represent bodies. So that this one is Joanna, this one is Alexandra, this one is Mohammed, this one is Susan, this one here is Jacob. So these are all bodies, like imagine them as bodies. Um, imagine this as human bodies that are looking at this light. And then this light, I need to turn out all the other lights. So this light that um, I'm going to put behind it represents beingness or aliveness, that which is watching. So these are the human bodies. So these are your eyes. These are your eyes. Now we say your eyes, but they're not actually your eyes. They're simply the, the looking mechanism that's used to look at this world. And this light is who you truly are, the watcher, the experiencer. And you see how it's one light but it looks out of many holes. It seems to be favouring one there. I think that was Joanna that it favours. <laughs> it's hard to... I need to get distance. Okay, so... This is harder than it looks. Huh. Ah, there we go. That's why they put the bag around the light. So, so you see, the light is shining through all the holes and is looking out of. I put my microphone back in. So the light is looking through all the holes, and that's liveness, that's the beingness, looking through multiple holes, and the brain is the hole. So the brain is there, and the brain is only interpreting that one particular experience. But who you truly are is looking through multiple holes simultaneously. And it can do that because it doesn't have a brain, it doesn't have a specific thing it is, it doesn't have a memory. All it's doing is experiencing itself. It's just so beautiful. It's so wonderful. So you really have to put the bag around the light, you know, when I tried to do it a different way, it didn't work. And that's what life is like. That's what beingness is like. Beingness is looking through all these holes, which are the bodies, having an experience multiply of this whole world of life and that's where you are that which is looking that which is experiencing itself that's where you are that's who you are that stillness which looks through and that light never moves it never gets involved with anything in the dream the person might be dreaming that it's really real and that this is a hellish experience or a wonderful experience or a scary experience, but that light is never affected, no matter what the whole is projecting or the whole is interpreting. The whole is in the hole in the bag, not wholeness. <laughs> that could be confusing. All suffering comes from that misidentification with believing that you are this body the hole in the bag which is being looked through but you are that boundless space which is looking at everything which is so beautiful hmm. and it never left no matter how much you suffer, no matter how agony you are there, God is looking always silently, always, never left, 
never disregarded anything, never rejected anything. It's the person that rejects it. And while that person has the misidentification, it's always seeking for that God in time. It's always seeking for that freedom in time. And you'll never find the freedom in time. It's right here in the stillness. So if you imagine the cross, if we go back to the image of the cross, so Jesus dying on the cross. So some of you are just tuned in. You think, what the hell is this crazy lady doing? She's a witch. She's a witch. She sure is. So, um, so imagine the cross and it meets in the middle. That is the light. That's where the light is. The light isn't found in the horizontal line of time, but it is in a way that it's there in the appearances, in what's happening, but it's not found in what's going to happen or what did happen. It's not found in one particular thing. It's the stillness of that movement. It's right here. It's so beautiful. And, and God's never rejected anything, no matter how evil or nasty or horrible you've been or are, no matter how beautiful or wonderful, that light never rejects anything. Everything is embraced by God. Everything. The human experiences heaven and hell and feels abandoned and lost and experiences the world of opposites, but you can only experience the world of opposites in the horizontal, and the horizontal never really exists. What exists is this moment, which is stillness appearing to be moving. This is love. This is love. <laughs> it's so exciting.